Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to use the Icon 8 to create the motions, the body motion for your 3D avatar, and also the facial expressions with the VSAM lip sync mouth talking animations, and send it to Unreal Engine 5 by using the Unreal Engine 5 to render the video as the AVI format. All of this process, the Unreal Engine 5 is a really good and realistic rendering engines for your 3D animations. And now you can see in, in my Icon 8, I already created the 3D animation. Here, if I play... Hi, I'm a digital character created with Character Creator. And as you can see... Now you can see this 3D animation that I created in Icon 8. This is the Icon CC4 avatar and now this 3D animation, I already create the facial expressions and also the mouth talking lip sync. I can act. And also the body motions. And how are we going to transfer it to Unreal Engine? By using the icon Unreal Live Link and send it, send it to there, become the, what do we call it? The animation sequence and also the skeleton mesh and render it in Unreal Engine 5. The first step, what you are going to do is just scroll down, go to my video descriptions. Make sure you already get the Icron CC Auto setup for Unreal Engine. This is just an installer. Once you download it, you can install it in your computer. And you also need to get the Icron Unreal Live link from this link. You can get it from official website. And in your Icron 8, look at the plugin. If you already install the Auto setup, and Unreal Live Link, everything will be here. And now I'm going to demo to send it to Unreal Engine. Unreal Engine 5.1, I will open it first. Unreal Engine 5.1. This is the Unreal Engine 5.1 and I'm going to start from beginning to create a new game third-person game project create. This is my project 4, the project name. You can name it as any name that you want create. Now everything will start from a fresh new project. Now, this is a fresh new project. If this is the first time you open the Unreal Engine 5.1, everything will look like this. The third person game project means if you play, uh, this is a third person new project. And for today, we are going to learn how to render it as video only. So, this is not a game developing tutorial. I just use the third person map as demo. So the first step, you have to go to the window content browser to call out a content browser here and next up just right click on that to show in folder and your project name is this one my project it is under the document Unreal project my project 4 folder and here next the next step what you're going to do is install the icon Unreal Life link plugin for UE5 5.1, all right, and auto setup for Unreal Engine 5.1. How? If you already get it, you already get the auto setup and Unreal Life link and already installed in your computer, then in your icon 8 here, you go to the plugin. The first is the auto setup, you browse the file, go into the Unreal folder. Now, this version is Unreal Engine 5.1 for this time. Just copy everything, right click copy, and back to your project directory just now. My project 4, I right click and paste it here. Like that, you already successfully installed the auto setup. Next is the Icon Unreal Life link. Go to the plugin, Unreal Life link. Find the Life link plugin folder. Same as here. It is at Unreal Engine 5.1 folder. Double click in. Just copy this plugin folder and paste it into your project directory. My project 4. Right click paste. Done. Once done already, you can close this folder. 
and then in your Unreal Engine 5.1 you have to close it and open it again you restart the whole project to make sure that the, the Unreal Live Link already be there you just need to restart your project now this is the project my project 4 Now, you can see the third person template still here and then the extra one is the icon Unreal Life link already here and CC Auto Setup and for this time, what you are going to do is in your icon here just go to the plugin, the Unreal Life link and click click into the Unreal Life link plugin now, like this and this is the avatar we are going to transfer the Camilla avatar the scene, we untick everything, the prop, camera, we all don't want. We only want the Camilla CC avatar and also include the motion. And then now you can see I already set the range, start from this frame to this frame. So beyond that, we don't want. So we select the range from 0 to 882. The last frame is 882. Gator. And as you can see, I can act, talk, and have lively expressions. Alright, done. So, you have to take it, include motion, select from the range, and then transfer the file, transfer it to Unreal Engine 5 game project here. So, in this stage, you need to just wait for a while. It is transferring. It is going to pop out uh, another window and look like the CLI, the command line interface there. Now, this one. So for this moment, you have to wait for a while until it successfully transfer everything. From the iPlon to Unreal Engine 5.1 to the Unreal Live link. Just wait for a while until it finish. Right now, it should be already transfer. That another one, it will pop out because it included the motions. Now it is transferring the motion to become the animation sequence in Unreal Engine Five. That you also need to wait for a while until the motion successfully transfer. Once it successfully transfer already, now it is preparing the shader and you also can just save it. Click File, Save All. And now same, it's still waiting for preparing the shader. You have to wait for a few seconds or a few minutes. It depends on your computer speed. Just wait for a while. Alright, it is almost done. Still preparing the shader. 
And now we are waiting for this to go until 100%. Everything should be done. Done. Then click File, Save All. You save it first. And then you can see this is your skeleton mesh. And now it is still preparing the shader, it's not yet really right now done. This is the skeleton mesh. And next, you look at the motion folder, it already have the animation sequence. We can look at the animation sequence. It already included the facial expression. It included the facial expression and also the whole body motions. So try it again. All right, this is a simulation. Now, we close it, and if you drag it, drag this animation sequence into Unreal Engine 5, and then I press press E to rotate it to face the front. If I play, now you can see actually this avatar, it automatically will play the animation sequence in this game project. And we are going to render the video. In order to render the video, what we are going to do is first, this is your, your animation sequence that drag into there. You have to go to the window place actor and then click the cinematic drag a camera out the sign camera actor drag it out once you drag it out already this is exactly the camera you right click it to select the pilot now hold your right click button to make sure use the ASWD button to capture the angle that you want. Let's say, now I want to capture like this. Once done already, unhold your right click button. Click here. Now, you already make sure that the camera already face, face the area that you want. This is exactly how the camera will look. And next, back to your content folder. In this tutorial, we are going to render the video and it will make, make it become the ABI video render in your Unreal Engine 5 and how to do now you already have a camera drag this camera into the camera and then attach on the root like this done if done already in your content folder click here to add a level sequence then save then you can see it open the sequencer already if you accidentally close it the sequencer still here you can double click to open and next, go to the window, Cinematic, to call out Take Recorder. And here you have to add a source. Add a camera cut, like this. So at here, you have to drag your kind camera, the, the side camera actor, drag it, drag into here. Next, click here. And then, if you want to render 30 seconds, you have to make sure here you key in 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And then, this range you have to drag it to select the range properly. Like this. Once done already, you click this, this button. To render this movie into a video, click into that. And then, select the locations. The output directory location, click here. Then, Go to the desktop to create a new folder, name it as video. Select the folder, select the folder. Once done already, then click capture video. Click save selected. Now, just wait for a while. If you feel satisfied already, you can stop it, then it will become a video file in your window. Just wait for a while. Once done already, click stop. Right, now you can see it disappeared. That is just an arrow. To fix this arrow, what you are going to do is just close it and restart the project again. Restart it, restart the Unreal Engine. 
and open the project again, everything were back to normal. It is here, the project. Now you can see everything back to normal already. If you want to render it again, you have to repeat the, the same process to add the camera cut. Then drag the camera, drag the camera in into here. Change the time that you want to render. Let's say if, if you want to render 10 seconds, you just put it as 10 seconds. Enter. Then drag the range into 10 seconds. Then do the same, same action, repeat it again. Capture the video. It already select the desktop. Capture the video. Let's say within five seconds, one, two, three, four, five. If I stop it, then it will become a five seconds video. We check the video here. The second video is four seconds. Alright, it, it is four seconds. Alright. The the first one is ten seconds just now. Because I stop it. If I don't stop it, it will become 30 seconds. Now I try to play the video. It is really a, an AVI video in your computer and you can make it, you can drag it into your into your video editing software to just edit it. This is re really a video. Now you can see this is not a high quality video just because of the resolutions that I selected. It, it is not up to... Right, now, let's say if I focus on this, this face, it, it blur because of the manual focus distance. This distance, you can just track it. Right. To focus on your avatar, this. And the background will become blur. This is what we call the focal, the focal distance, if you ever study the photography. And then now I, I focus it. I focus this avatar at the center. And next, what we are going to do is render it again. The resolution you can select it as HD, 1080p, or 4K. It, it is up to you. I say if I select it, this, capture the movie, and wait for a while. One, two, three, four, five, five seconds. I stop capture and check the video render, it should be better than the, the first two. And wait for a while, now it is playing the video. Now it is opening the video. It is, it is quite slow to open this. Now you can see this is a really, really a, a HD video. Replay it again. Now you really render it in Unreal Engine 5, 5.1. This is Unreal Engine 5.1 for this tutorial. Right, that's all for today about how to use the Icon 8 to create the animations with the motion, body motion, facial expression animation, and also the mouth talking with some animation. And send it to Unreal Engine 5.1 and render the video in Unreal Engine 5. And that's all for today. Thank you for watching. If you love my video tutorial, if you feel all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all, so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video, enjoy, happy 3D animation and game developing, see you!